Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, Renita. Very good. Okay, sure. nice. Hi, Irvan. Elderly, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you okay? Yes, yes, good. I am better. Okay, nice. That's it's good to hear that, okay? Nice to hear that, that you are doing great. Okay. Okay, so this is where we stopped last night, right? We were talking about the what time is it? Good night, teacher. Hey, hello, good evening. Okay, so here we have the hours, right? Remember yesterday we were talking about this video and then in this video we have the, to the left of your, of your screen, you have the times uh, in negative, right? Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus 10 and minus 11. Then, then to the other side, we have plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, then 11 and 12. Okay, so that means that uh, the, in this moment, this is Sydney, Australia. Uh, if we compare it to El Salvador, in Australia is one, one, eight. El Salvador is nine. Nine oh nine. And in Australia is one. Okay. In El Salvador is 9.09 p.m. And in Australia is 1.09 a.m. or p.m. It's 9.00 uh -huh. p.m., right? Yes. In this moment, in, Austra in Australia is 1 p.m. Okay, so there is a difference of how many hours? There, they are in the lunch. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Right, they're having lunch. So you see, for example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours of difference. Okay, 16 hour of difference from El Salvador to Australia. Okay, so then this is the 
the time, right, that they have in in this country, right? So they are, if you are in Australia in this moment, for them is 1 p.m. But here in El Salvador is going to be a different time. So this is, for example, about the time zones. which illustrates the importance of understanding the okay and here we have hello this is the conversation that we had hi debbie this is john and then the guy was calling from australia right and then he says uh, what time is it there so it's 10 p.m okay then it says 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, this is four o'clock in the morning. Okay, so that's a, a bit different ahead. And we had no problem with this vocabulary, right? Let me take it down. Okay, here. Then we have the, the one, what are you doing? They say, we'll be able to answer questions using time expressions and practice giving the time. This was the other one using the time expression. Before we do this one, I want to, make a difference. What are you doing? What do you do? And Okay, what's the difference? What are you doing? What do you do? And what do you do on Saturdays? Who remembers the difference? Eh, el what are you doing es para qué estás haciendo ahorita, verdad? En este uh -huh. momento. El, el what do you do sería como para eh, profesión, para preguntar como que, qué se dedica. Ok. Eh, o no sé si también significa qué haces. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. That's... Uh... En español sería como dos sinónimos. Yes. Good. Sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y el último que sería para qué hacen en un específico día, ¿verdad? Ahí sería. Correcto. Ok, exacto. Okay. Esa es la diferencia de las tres, ¿ok? Mejor no lo podría haber dicho yo. Yes, that's nice. Ok. So, what are you doing if I say, for example, in this moment, if I ask. Um, Elderly, elderly, what are you doing? That would be like 
right now, right in this moment? What are you doing? And then you can say, I am, uh, what? I am a uh, listening to the class. Okay, could be. Okay, what do you do? What do you do, Eliana? What do you do? Um, I am, I am practicing English. Mm, that would be a, what are you doing? But uh, in your occupation, for example? In my what? In your Sorry? Occupa occupation or profession? Uh, I am, I am a teacher. Okay, perfect. Teacher. Okay. Or then you say, for example, uh, what do you do? Como usted me decía, después de para su profesión, o que hace, right? You say, I teach. What subject? English. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. I teach English. Okay. My colleague. Okay. Then my colleague. Right. You say, what do you do? I am a teacher. Okay. Or I teach English. Ya pueden responder de dos maneras, ¿ok? Con su profesión, con su ocupación o con la acción que esa ocupación o, o, o profesión conlleva. Ok, you can say, for example, what do you do? Uh, I am a mechanical engineer. What do you do? I am a doctor. What do you do? I am a nurse. What do you do? I am a mechanic. What do you do? I am a carpenter. Ok, what do you do? I am a, a pilot. Okay, what do you do? I am an electrician. Okay, uh, what do you do? Well, I fix computers. I repair computers, cell phones, uh, electronic devices. Okay, so I am a, a, I am a plumber, right? Can you say, for example, that a fontanero? I am a plumber too. You can use that. One. And what? Do you do on weekends? Okay, this is specific de ese periodo de tiempo. Okay, what do you do on weekends? Esta la más variada, right? What do you do from? Voy a poner varias opciones. What do you do from Monday? Monday to Friday. Okay. ¿Qué hace de lunes a viernes? All right. Here we have. What do you do for Monday to Friday? Uh, what else? Another one. What do you do on Monday? Okay. What do you do on Christmas Eve? Okay, what do you do on your birthday? Okay, what do you do on Father's Day? What do you do on Mother's Day? What do you do on Teacher's Day? What do you do on anything? Okay, so if I ask uh, Carlos Enrique, what do you do on weekends? I wash my clothes. Okay, I wash my clothes. Okay. Estamos iguales, good. <laughs> okay. I, I feel you. Okay, yes. Yeah, me too. I wash my clothes. Good. Nice. Uh, what do you do from Monday to Friday, Ada? What do you do from Monday to Friday? I... I work. Okay, very good. I work. I work. Okay, I work. 
Dice que pueden dejar solo la acción o pueden poner más información. I work from from a, what? From seven to four. Okay, or from seven a.m. to four p.m. Okay, so you can use both. Uh, the next one is on Mondays. What do you do on Mondays, Claudia Lorena? What do you do on Mondays? Hello, oh, Claudia. Can you hear me, Claudia? Maybe not. Elmer, what do you do on Mondays? I, I, I am pilot. Mm. Eh. Ah, but on Mondays. No sé decir, ah. diga, diga. I am pilot um, driving motorcycle. Oh, no sé cómo se dice. Okay, I ride. Ajá. Uh -huh. I ride. Delivery, my... digo. Ah, okay, ajá. Uh -huh. I ride my motorcycle, right? Ah, okay. Monto mi bicicleta en... O sea, aquí sería como conduzco mi bicicleta en... I do delivery. Ahí está, ¿me? Okay, I ride my motorcycle and okay. I do Okay, eh, conduzco y hago entregas. Perfect. Thank you. Ok, ven, ahí van la diferencia de estas tres preguntas y sus respuestas. El what are you doing es general de qué están haciendo en el momento que les pregunto. Alguien llega y lo ve ahí platicando, y nadie les pregunta, hey, what are you doing? Ah, talking, having fun, relaxing. Eh, what do you do? Se refiere así en general, que es what do you do? Por lo general va a qué hace para vivir. O cuál es su profesión. What do you do? Usted puede responder, soy profesor. Obviamente se sobreentiende que enseña. Okay, puede decir, I am an English teacher. I am a math teacher. I am a science teacher. Okay. Y si es, um, what do you do on weekends? Que es específico. Que hace el fin de semana. O los fines de semana como la, no la rutina, pero lo más común que uno hace los fines de semana. Eh, from Monday to Friday, ¿qué hace de lunes a viernes? Okay, I work from 7 to 4, and I study English from 9 to 10. Okay. Good. What else? What else, what else do we have? And then we have on Mondays, I ride my motorcycle and I do delivery. This is on the specific la semana que hago, right? No problem. Preguntas, comentarios. Thank you. Okay. Estamos bien con eso? Perfecto. Ok, recuerden esto porque esto es bastante, eh, como les dijera, eh, común, ¿verdad? En el que se ha utilizado. Entonces, este, vale la pena eh, utilizarlas y, y saber qué responder. Then we have... This one here. Then we practice with what time is it. Morning, a.m. Hi, everyone. In Escuchemos la pronunciación y veamos las estructuras de las preguntas. In this class, you learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. 
Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's 2 o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past 2. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to 3. Our last example, it's a quarter to 3 or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, AM. Noon, PM. In the afternoon, PM. In the evening, PM. At night, p.m. midnight a.m. let's uh, practice this time expressions now let's listen and repeat it's seven o'clock in the morning it's seven a.m. it's twelve o'clock it's twelve p.m. it's noon it's four o'clock in the afternoon it's four p.m. it's seven o'clock in the evening it's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, so these expressions are the ones that are good. Remember, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. You can say it's 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, this is, uh, remember, this is relative, right? Because you're going to use it seven o'clock in the morning. It's probably you are making a phone call. And if you are in a different country, right? It, because if it is, uh, or if you want, sometimes probably if you want to be sarcastic, maybe, right? Uh, you can also say, right? Como que, a veces hay bromas en la oficina o en el trabajo, right? Que alguien viene y llega tarde y dice, hey, buenos días. Y todos dicen, buenos días, buenas noches, right? Then they say, it's seven. Ah, oh, no, it's, but it's seven. Say, uh -huh, but in the evening, not in the morning. O sea, ahí tal vez, en ese sentido, puede ser incluso objeto de, de hacer algo ameno, right? And, but usually, it's, through phone calls, you say it's seven o'clock, right? For example, uh, hi, remember too. How are you? Hello, hi, man. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, hi, man. Okay, Jaime, what time is it in this moment? Yes. What time is it? Okay, uh, in this moment, uh, it's a nine, nine, uh, 30 p.m. 9.30, okay, uh -huh. you can say 9.30 p.m., correct, good. Is that what's 9.30 p.m.? Hello, hello? 
Yes. Yes, no problem, Jaime. Hello, hello. I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear hello, me? Hello, are you listening to me? Yes. Perfectly. Perfectly. Okay. Loud and clear. Okay, loud and clear. Let me see if I can probably increase my sound. Yes. Okay, yes, I can hear you very well. No problem. Good. Uh, Janet, what time is it, Janet? No sé por qué este, bueno, para mí sería half past nine. Perfecto. Eso es lo, de eso se trata, ok. Que cada, o sea, para que vea. Sí, la está perfecta, está correcta. It's half past nine, sí. Este, o puede decir it's nine thirty. Eh, si ven, por ejemplo, acá hay un reloj eh, redondito, este que estoy señalando. Este es un reloj análogo, right? Y los otros, por ejemplo, el primero, el tercero y el quinto son relojes eh, digitales, right? Eh, por ejemplo, vea, ¿qué hora dice en el tercer reloj? ¿Cómo dice? En la primera. La 1 y 15, pero sería 1. Ajá, it's 1. Cuarto. It's 1.15. Entonces, así como en los, digita en los digitales se lee la hora tal como aparecen los números. Tal como aparece. Yo, yo le quería decir la una y cuarto, como decimos nosotros. En la que está abajo. La que está abajo en el análogo. Ajá, de, del análogo y también del digital. Miren el digital. Ajá. Tercero dice, Sería it's... la misma, pero, pero digamos, para, para decirlo en el análogo, sí sería la hora por... exacta. Como aparecen números. Eh, no, perdón, en el digital sería cabal, es de la hora como aparece en números. Correcto. Juan Sixteen. Correcto. Y, y en, el, en el de relojito de, de, de agujas, ¿cómo sería? Ahí sería, it's a quarter past one. Ah, ok. Entonces, ahí se ocupan el cuarto, un cuarto okay. para y un cuarto después. ¿verdad? Entonces se podría decir, it's a quarter after one. Y si ya son, en el, si ven el último, en el último que tenemos acá dice, it's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. Entonces puede dar la hora. Ahora, yo por ejemplo, yo ando ahorita acá un reloj digital. Y aquí mi reloj dice eh, 9.33. Se le puede decir, es 27 to 10. 27 para 10. Ok, pero muchas veces es, se va a entender mejor si alguien dice, ah, oh, 934. O cuando llega el 35, dice 25 to 10. Ok. Puede usar las dos formas. Dice aquí, it's 2 o'clock, it's 2 o'clock, it's 2 15, it's 2 30. Ok, aquí es 2.30 en es half past 2. Es 2.40 en es 22.30. O sea, los que están a la izquierda son las horas de un reloj digital. Y estas dos últimas a la derecha, es half past 2, serían como la hora de un reloj análogo. Como es. The analog watch or clock. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. 1.83. And then, eh, y los otros términos que utilizamos tanto en español como en inglés es in the morning, en la mañana. Sabemos que la mañana viene desde qué? Desde las 6, 5 de la mañana, 4 de la mañana, 3 de la mañana, ok. Aunque a veces le decimos madrugada, right? Pero es, digamos, desde las 12 de AM hasta las 11.59 es AM, right? Y acaba a las 12 es noon. Ese sería como el mediodía, right? Noon. It's noon. Si yo le digo a alguien, por ejemplo, eh, eh, nos vamos a conectar mañana at noon. We're going to connect tomorrow at noon. Ok. Si yo digo at noon, son las 12 del mediodía. No va a ser las 12 de la medianoche. Ok. Pero si les digo, ok, nos vamos a conectar mañana at midnight, a la medianoche, right? 
Entonces ahí se aparece ¿no? Midnight. So we have noon, las 12 del mediodía, midnight, in the night. In the afternoon, in the evening, and at night. Eh, recuerden, cuando entramos a clase, ¿cómo se tiene que decir? Good evening. Good evening, ¿verdad? Good evening. Good evening. Porque ese es el buenas noches de entrada, el buenas noches de llegada a un lugar. Y cuando ya nos vamos, decimos... Good. good night. Good night. Ok. El good night se interpreta como un hasta luego, hasta mañana, cuando uno ya no va a ver a las personas ese día o esa noche más. Ok. Entonces, cuando uno llega aquí dice buenas, ok, buenas noches, good evening, de llegada, right? Y ya cuando uno se va, good night. Entonces ya se va a la cama o se despide de un lugar. Ok. So then you have in the afternoon, at night. Uh, PM and then midnight. Okay. Uh, do you watch when do you watch the the news? Yo voy a poner la pregunta en el chat. When do you When do you watch? Okay, it's a problem. When do you watch the news? Uh, in my case, at night. When do you watch the news? Ahí pueden escribirlo. At night, in the morning, at noon, in the morning. Okay, yes. Esmeralda, elderly, in my cell phone, in the morning. Correct, good. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, ¿En qué caso se usa at? ¿Y en qué caso se usa in? Eh, estas son expresiones ya así como en estos casos, así como está ahí, digamos, in the afternoon, in the morning, in the evening, son los tres momentos eh, del día, right? Eh, cuando se dice at night es, eh, como dijera, como que ya es un término de decir día y noche, ok? In the day and at night. Entonces, como decía, día y noche, mientras que los otros tres términos tenemos mañana, tarde y noche, es morning, afternoon, and evening. Ya son como expresiones eh, hechas, ¿verdad? Que no hay una regla específica que diga, mire, si, si es noche va a decir at, eh, y si es eh, un tiempo de tantas horas, es in, no hay un, una regla de esa manera. Entonces, es de aprenderse esas expresiones tal como están ahí. Eh, esta que ven ahí, in, at, son preposiciones, at night, I would watch the news at noon, ok, Diana, good, in the morning, eh, any time of the day, eso está buena, Carlos, any time of the day, good, que sea cualquier hora del día, good, in my cell phone, in the morning. entonces, eh, cuando, in the afternoon, eh, por ejemplo, si, usamos eh, en horas si lo usamos con la hora ahí sí hay una diferencia si yo por ejemplo en 10 minutos ok, en, dentro de 10 minutos pero si yo digo por ejemplo at 7 o'clock esa es una hora exacta ok eh, como hoy entré un poquito más tarde vamos a terminar la clase at 10 6 10, 6, 10 o 6, a las 10 y 6 minutos, ok, eso es at, eh, si yo quiero decir, mire, vamos a terminar la clase, de, la clase dentro de 26 minutos, we are going to finish the class in 26 minutes, dentro de, ok, y si quiero darle la hora exacta, at 10 o 6, ok, entonces ahí sí hay una, ahí sí hay como una regla más o menos en la que se puede diferenciar. Eh, 
Buena pregunta en el sentido de que las preposiciones en inglés son como de las más, eh, digamos, no, compleja, no, no complicadas, pero sí un poco complejas de utilizar porque no hay reglas eh, generales para todo. Y estas mismas, in, on, at, se ocupan para lugar y para tiempo. Okay, porque se acuerdan que vimos aquel día in front of the computer, on the table, under the table. Right? Y también esas mismas producciones se pueden utilizar cuando estamos hablando de así en día, no estamos hablando de lugar, sino que de tiempo. In the morning, in the evening, que son las mismas. Entonces hay que separarlas por, por contexto. Aquí es el contexto, es tiempo. En las que vimos anteriormente era lugar, ¿sí? la relación de un lugar a otro ok, así que lo mejor así como aparecen acá esa es la mejor forma de de aprenderlas right? good what else ¿Qué más tenemos acá en this video about prepositions time, ok, este vamos a ver Yo tengo Voy a... Solo más hacer este ejercicio. No, quizás antes de hacer el ejercicio, mejor paso lista. Porque veo que ahorita sí tengo. Hay más. Es un momentito que estamos teniendo más asistencia. Ok, veamos. Voy a pasar lista y luego nos vamos al ejercicio. Eh, Ada, Ada Burgos. Present. Yes. And then we have Adina. Adina. No. No Adina today. Present. Ah, para ellos. Good. Then we have uh, Andrea Gabriela. Andrea, Andrea. Gabi. Okay, Brian. Brian Steven. Present teacher. Good. Then we have uh, Carlos Enrique Peraza. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Carlos William Valdez. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Claudia Lorena Munguía. Present teacher. Damaris Esmeralda. Present. Okay. Elderly Elias. Present. Right. Present teacher. Okay. Elmer, Elmer Ortiz. Present. Okay. El Esmeralda Guadalupe. Present teacher. Eunice Hortensia. Present. Good. Flor de Carmen, Flor de Carmen Robles. No. Herson. Herson Alexander. Present. Okay, good. And then, uh, no, Helen, no, no, no. And then we have Henry Adrián. Present teacher. Okay, Ileana Beatriz. Ileana Beatriz González Ortega. Okay, Iris Janet Martínez López. Present. Irma Adriana Segura Araujo. Present. Okay, Irving Josael Roy Jiménez. Present. Jaime Antonio Ortiz Vázquez. No, no more. And then Jaime Roberto Hernández. Jaime, yes. Estuve platicando con él. Janet Fidelina. Present. Present, yes. Jessica Saraí. Uh, Jocelyn Elizabeth. Present. Joel Ernesto Cruz. Presente. Ok, good. And, uh, we have Maria, no. Odilia Suleima. Odilia, Odilia. Me parece verla. En Rimita Xiomara. Ok. 
Para los que les puse así, que no tienen asistencia, está María Cristina, Jessica Saraí. Teacher, one question. En my Jaime Hernández. Sí, sí, ya lo puse. Ok, es que hay un problema con la Inter. No problem. Uh, but, como estoy hablando con usted antes, sabía que aquí estaba, entonces. Ok, si nice. Aquí, bueno, lo pongo acá. No problem. Thank you very much, teacher. No problem. Thank you. Sí, alguien habló. Yo no me mencionó. Odilia, no, no, Odilia, ¿cómo va a estar? No, no, pero ahorita voy chequeando nuevamente. Quiero ver, Jaime, Antonio, le puse una asistencia. Jaime Antonio. Aquí, aquí está Ileana, Flor, Flor del Carmen, también le puse una asistencia. Odilia. No, yo creo que lo puse lo que no me apareció en esta segunda red. No, está, como no, lo puse. Puse asistencia, no hay problema. Don't worry. Ok, excelente. Ahí estamos. Good. Okay, so then the exercise, this is what I was going to ask you to do. I'm going to start with uh, Carlos Enrique, would you do me a favor? Eh, lea las oraciones que están ahí. Las horas, desde el primero hasta el último. Okay, Carlos, please. Now then I'm going to ask um, Josael. Okay, read the first three sentences, las primeras tres imágenes. Trabajo. Start with yes. it's seven two o'clock. I know the club. Uh -huh. the club. In the morning, it's 7 a.m. Okay. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's yeah. noon. Right. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh -huh. It's 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. Thank you, Jose. Okay, uh, Jessica Saray. Jesse, can you hear me? Maybe not. Oh, yes, yes, he's coming. Yes, Jessica. Lea la estrella de aquí abajo. No sé si está hablando, pero no lo escucho. Oh, probablemente no. No le funciona el micrófono. Ok. Eh, let's see for Carlos William. Ok. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 p.m. It's a, it it meeting. Mid no, it's midnight. Mid excuse me. Very it's good. Midnight. Excellent. Eunice. The first three up there. Pick me one, two, and three. El tres, verdad? De la uno a la tres. Aquí las primeras tres de arriba. Las leo, verdad? Yes. yes. <laughs> It's seven o'clock okay. in the morning. It's seven e a.m. A.m. It's twelve. O'clock. Okay. It's 12 p.m. All right. 
eat noon. Yes. Eat four o'clock in the okay. afternoon. All right. Eat four p.m. It's four p.m. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, good. And then uh, the next one is, let me see who else, Harrison. Las tres de abajo. Las tres de abajo. Ajá. Okay, it's seven o'clock in the evening. Uh -huh. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. At uh, at nine. Yes. It's it's twelve a.m. a.m. Ah, uh, uh, seria a a.m. Seria, mm -hmm. Okay. It's my thing. It's midnight. Midnight. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Midnight. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Hey, let me see who else. One more. One more. Brian. Sí, teacher. Las tres, las oraciones de arriba. It is seven o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. Okay. It is seven a.m. Yes, continue. It's it is twelve o'clock. Okay. It is twelve p.m. Yes. It is no. All right. La siguiente también. Please. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. It is 4 p.m. Thank you, Ryan. Good. Well done. Carlos Enrique, the last three here. One, two, three, down here. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. It's midnight. Okay, perfect. Very good people, okay? Good, nice pronunciation, I'm happy. Eh, good, 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 let me see what else. Solo quiero... ¿Quién, quién, quién, quién está llorando? O así... Xiomara. Ah, okay. Y esto del Inter es un, es un tema de, de dolor de cabeza, right? Okay, good. What else can we do? Okay, then uh, what we're going to do is... Let me show you this one. Solo quiero. Eh, Ada, en la pregunta que me estaba haciendo, si mal no recuerdo, es typing. Es un sonido como de tecleado, ¿verdad? Yes, sí, ah. gracias. Ya lo puse. La, 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 ¿Salió? Sí. Ah, okay, typing. Sí. Es teclado. que a veces se, se confunde con, con otro sonido. No sé, es bien raro el sonido que está ahí. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, people, then we have this exercise here about the time. Okay, este que vamos acá, lo que les decía es el, el reloj análogo, el más común, right? That we have is, bueno, por lo menos común hace, hace muchos años, ¿no? pero ahora el más común realmente es el final. Okay. So then we have, uh, look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Okay, so we have, for example, in the first one, it's what time is it? It is 20 after two, okay? Or it's, tw it's 2.20, 
Okay, ese es el ejemplo, right? It's 20 after. Ese dice primero los minutos, 20, el after después de las 12. Eh, solo se lo voy a dar así como información, pero vamos a practicar lo que aparezca acá, porque también eh, se ocupa el past. En vez del de after, algunas veces van a ocupar el past. Yo no sé si ustedes lo han utilizado antes y cuál utilizan, si after o past. Yo por lo general utilizo más el past, el after. ¿Ok? Entonces, pero los dos se entienden perfectamente y no hay ningún problema. Ok, so then we have this one. Look at the time. And then we have, what time is it? It's 10 to 7. 10 to 7. The first one? Yes. Okay. Y también is, is 6.50. It's, um, okay. Two. Okay, yes, two. Okay, it's 6.50, correct? Este sería como digital, right? Digital, digital watch. This is analog watch. Okay, good. What about the next one? What time is it? It's 8.45. It's 8.45. That would be the digital time here, okay. And? It, it's our to nine. It's Night? a quarter to nine, correct. Yes. Good. What time is it? It is 11 or five. Or oh, it's, it's five, but 11. It's, okay, it's 11 or five, yes. It's 11 or five, and it's five, five past. Es el Eso lo Aquí también han puesto pass y aquí arriba pusieron after. Entonces, este es el que yo uso. Porque el que yo utilizo más, right? It's five past eleven. O el digital. Ok, el digital es el otro. Good. And the number five says, what time is it? It's 3.15. It's 3.15, right? It's a quarter past three. It's a quarter past three. Yes. Quarter past three. Water. It's water. It's a quarter. Uh, this one. Yes, it's a quarter. Quarter. Uh -huh. And uh, number six. It's a past four. A four. four. It's four. Thirty. Thirty. I don't know how to say it. Así como lo dijo. Okay, 4.30. No problem, yes, it's 4. You can say 30 or you can say 30. Okay, 30, 30. The Britannico would va a sonar más 30. 30. El, el Americano va a sonar 30. 30. Okay, 30 and 30. 30 and 30. The two pronunciations are okay. Okay. Then we have two answers. There you go. Okay, so all of them are correct. Good. Okay, si ya pueden ir haciendo estos ejercicios, si ya los hicieron, perfecto, yo creo que están por graduarse, han de haber sacado hasta el, el diploma, y si no, pues ya pueden ir llenando de una vez para que terminemos antes del final de la otra semana todo esto. Y si nos queda más chance de práctica como ahora, right? Good, we have this one. The knowledge check. And then we have falling intonation and rising intonation. Esto es para pronunciación. Cuando la, el tono va hacia arriba y cuando va hacia abajo. Vean que las yes, no questions, up. And the WH questions, the intonation goes down at the end. O sea, al final van a escuchar el que se pase arriba o baja el sonido. Ok. Hi, everyone. 
In this class, you learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no Sleepy. questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Well, intonation is used to convey meaning. In this class, we and WH questions. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Okay, so see, is she getting up? No, is she getting up? Say, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What's she? Doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, what are they doing? What is she doing? No, what are what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is she doing? Okay. Now we're gonna start a quick round. Four words, the four sentences, the four questions. Okay, vamos a comenzar con a uh, Jocelyn. Van a leer las cuatro oraciones. Yo creo que todos alcanzamos a pasar. Okay. Vamos. Jocelyn. Is she... <laughs> Is she getting up? Getting up. Are they sleeping? What she doing? What she doing? What? doing? What she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Doing. Doing. Yes. Doing. Okay. Elderly. Hello, teacher. So read the sentences. The four. Yes. Okay. Is she getting up? What's she doing? Are they sleeping? What are what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay. What are they doing? Thank you. Eunice. ¿Cuál me toca? Perdón. Todas, todas, todas. Todas. Yes. Is she getting up? Okay. Are they, are they sleeping? Okay. What she doing? Okay. What are they doing? Doing. What are they doing? Okay. Yes. Josael. Sí, teacher. Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Doing. 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 Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right, Juliana. Uh, is she getting up? Mm -hmm. Are they sleeping? Yep. What's she doing? 
Correct. And what are they doing? What are they doing? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, Carlos Enrique. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Irma Adriana? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay, perfect. Herson. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are what are they doing? Doing. Excellent. Ada. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Perfect. Thank you very much. Olivia? It's she getting up? Up. Uh, are they sleeping? What is she doing? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Doing. Very good. Doing. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn? Otra vez. <laughs> ya lo había dicho. Sí. ¿Por qué se me movió? <laughs> es que me movió la imagen. Good. Sorry. Carlos? Carlos William? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What? She doing what? What are they doing? Good, Henry. Is she is she getting up? What she doing? Are they sleeping? What are they uh, doing? Doing perfect. Thank you, Damaris. Is she getting up? Um, are they sleeping? Yes. What's she doing? What are they doing? Perfect. Esmeralda? Is she wearing hat? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Good. Janet? Is she getting up? What's she doing? Are they sleeping? What are they doing? Doing good, Jessica. Hi, oh, Jessica. Hello. Okay, sí, creo que no. Su micrófono como que no funciona, porque sí se ve que ha activado, pero no, no se escucha. Okay, me lo debe entonces. Okay, good. Uh, well, we're going to stop here for today. Uh, we are going to continue on Monday, okay? So have a very nice uh, weekend, long weekend. Happy Father's Day for the parents, okay? And I'll see you on Monday, okay? Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.